Hello, and welcome to another video in the All Commands series. If you have a question about any other commands, look for the All Commands playlist on my channel. Today, we're going over the slash play sound command. All right, so this is a very useful command that lets you play any sound that is in vanilla Minecraft uh, or the equivalent in your resource pack. And if you know how to change that in a resource pack, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, and change a few things about it. So the basis of it is you start with play sound and then you're going to want to do the sound name. This can be anything in the game. Uh, as you can see, you've got ambient sounds like the sa like cave sounds. You've got various sounds that are played when you're underwater, things when block certain blocks are broken, every single sound in Minecraft. Uh, for this example, I'm going to do a block and I'm going to do a note block. And I'm going to do the pling, which is that common mini game sound you hear. All right, next you're going to do sound channel. Now, you're going to have a list of options here, and you're going to have ambient, block, hostile, master, music, etc. And if you look in your music and sounds, all of them are here as well. Now, I usually choose ambient, but that's just because I feel like it you can do any channel you want. You might not want to use music because a lot of players mute that channel, but if you're doing a note block song, maybe you do want to make it the music channel. Um, so that's muted for players who have music muted, but you can make it anything. That's the only difference it makes is what sound channel it plays on. So we're going to do ambient. Um, and then the player that is going to hear it. If you want every player to hear it, uh, that's close enough to the sound you do at a, that is this player to hear part. Um, if you want the player running the command to hear it, add s, etc. You should know command selectors, uh, but if you don't, there's excellent articles explaining all that. Uh, but all it is is targeting a specific entity or a specific player. So I'm going to do add s to target myself. All right, next up we got sound location. This is the block the sound plays at. Now this might not seem super helpful. But if you want a sound to appear like it's on your left, like in your F3 menu, watch my mouse, you can see this looking at block right here um, near the bottom. And it's 112, 3 minus 10. If I entered those chords, the sound would play as if it was at this block. So the player would hear a sound to the left, which can actually be pretty useful. For my purposes, I'm going to play a sound where I'm standing. So that is tilde, tilde, tilde. And all that says is, Whatever X, Y, and Z coordinates I'm currently at is where I want it to play. And the next one is volume. Now this is not traditional volume. This is the distance it can be heard from. So no matter what you set this to, it doesn't change how loud the sound is at its source. It only changes how far it can be heard. If you change this to like 100,000, it can be heard almost anywhere in the world. Uh, you might have to be at like the world border to not be able to hear that sound. And so that's super, super helpful if you want the sound to be heard super far. Or if you want it to be more normal, just do one and that's easy enough. I don't know if that's the standard sound the sound plays at, but one is pretty solid. Tweak that as you need. The last input for this command is the pitch. Now one is the default pitch and I'm going to go ahead and run this command and you can hear it. If I change this to 1.5, you can hear it goes up two. Now, if I go any higher than two, we'll even do 2.1, it doesn't exist. You have to do from zero, as you can see, it's super low. Uh, and you can go up to two. And that's it. And you can do any range in between. And that is the play sound command. Remember, you can play any sound, you can target any or all players, you can change the range of the sound, and you can change the pitch, as well as the channel the sound plays on. That is all for the play sound command. I hope this has been helpful, and if you have any other questions about commands, please be sure to check out the All Commands tutorial series. And uh, today, Mark's getting a stack of subscribers, so thank you all so much, and I will catch you all in the next video.